Hello YouTubers, what we're gonna do today is we are going to put pictures inside shapes and silhouette studio. This has been something um, that's been increasingly popular the past couple years to create some really personalized um, printable graphics here. So this would be great for printable HTV or sublimation or direct to film. Um, you can't obviously cut this in HTV, um, but you can create something very personalized. And so we're gonna put pictures in and you can also put patterns in to make it match. So let me go show you how we do this. This is the version of Silhouette Studio that I am using. This patterns feature is available in version four and newer. So if you've been using the software in the past four years or more, um, you have a version four. You're also gonna need designer edition or higher. Designer edition is the paid upgrade. So you will need that or higher. The easiest way to do this is to have your sunglasses and your shades be two separate um, objects and your shades need to be one enclosed object here. Um, this is the easiest way to do this. Um, I will show you how to do it this way. I'll also show you how to do it if you have a pair of sunglasses that look like this that don't have anything inside the sunglass part. Um, these both will be available for um, free download over on my webpage if you want to try this technique out. So the, uh, the way we can do this is through the patterns tab over here on the fill panel. So if you look over here, it's the fill panel where you make things different colors. If you come over here to the end, this is the pattern fill. Now, all of these that are in here already are um, by default in Silhouette Studio. So see this one, and it's very easy. You click your shape and you click your pattern and it puts it in automatically for you. Um, but these are all the ones that are available by default. We've used a couple of these wood filler ones before on something else. These down here are ones that I have added to Silhouette Studio, um, and this is where you would add your pictures and such. Now I have just figured out, if you decide you don't want this and you click the X button, it goes away altogether. So instead of doing that, come back up here to the fill panel and just fill it in as a solid color. Um, but if you want to add your own pictures, which is why you're here, um, so these were pictures and then these are uh, digital papers. So you're going to go over to your library and under patterns here, we are going to drag and drop in either your pictures, your digital files, anything that it is you want to add. We're just gonna add a digital paper real quick. All of this is done the exact same way. These digital papers are available on any of the design web pages. Um, some are seamless, some are not. Um, but they're available anywhere. And all you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop. It's going to go into Q. It's going to say Q. You probably can't see it. And it's going to sync. And once it gets done, you can use it in your designs. Um, I will tell you to delete these often. Um, design files, these design picture files are very, very large files. Um, the more storage you use in Silhouette Studio, the quick, the slower is going to load. The slower it's going to load and the more likely you are to run into issues, a corruption issue, um, it's Silhouette wanting to crash. So use these guys and then delete them. Don't, uh, don't have like 800 different ones in here because you're absolutely going to run out of memory. So once you do that, you can come down here. So we'll put the little girls back in our sunglasses here real quick. Now from here you can click on your picture and you have all sorts of options. Transparency is going to make her lighter or darker. You can come down here to scale and you can zoom in your picture basically. And then you can come down here to pan and make sure you grab it and then you can move your picture around. Now this is a this picture isn't seamless meaning there's no continuous um, picture here. So when I get to a certain part, it's just gonna repeat my picture. So keep that in mind when you're panning and zooming. At a certain point, you're only gonna be able to pan and zoom so much. You can also rotate them and put them at different angles if you want to. So you have quite a number of options. You also have options under the image effects tab. So under here, you can gray them you can also make them into sepia, I do believe. You can change your colors. You can do all sorts of different things. 
contrast. Oh, that's kind of cute. And you can make them all like blown out like the summer. Um, I think CP is in here somewhere too. Tent. You can do all sorts of different effects with your pictures if you want to. And that's pretty much all there is to it for this part. Um, and this is why I say this is the easiest one where you have your sunglasses and then your two um, images or your two enclosed shapes here. So that way you can mess with them independently. Um, and then if you decide you don't want it, here it goes. And when you're first starting, I would make sure you had one you were messing with and then you had a fresh copy over here. So then that way you had one and if you somehow mess this up, you had an extra one you can go play with. And that's pretty much all there is to this. And then if you wanted to, you go print this, you go print and cut, you can um, sublimate, you can do whatever it is you want to do. So now if you had sunglasses like this guy that don't have anything underneath them, they don't have an extra shape here, you can come over here to your drawing tools and we're just going to put in a circle here. And because we use the patterns, it's coming in as a polka dot. <laughs> um, so we're going to double click and it's going to give me the editing nodes here. And right now, all I really want to do is just make sure I'm covering this opening here. Now you can double click and add an extra node. They're called nodes or anchor points. They got a couple different names depending on what program you'd like to use. They're editing points here. And then, so you have this, we're gonna go right click and send it to the back of the layer. So now we have a shape we can now fill. You can also copy, paste. We're gonna reflect horizontally and send him to the back of the layer over here. See, this one's got a little bit over here, so we're just gonna ending point. And now you have your two shapes that you can now go over here to our pattern tool and put in patterns. We put in our leopards here again. Now, if you want to print this, you're good to rock and roll right now. If you wanted to say you wanted to print this out of, or you wanted to cut this out of HTV and then you wanted to do a printable vinyl on this right now, you can't do that because my shape would be cutting into my sunglasses. So what you can do here is you're going to click your sunglasses and then you're going to hold the shift key and click your, and click your inside of your sunglass here. We're going to go over to the modify panel and you're going to hit subtract all. And now that's going to give me an exact size shape for my sunglasses here. So see, that's what it looked like. And now see how it's been cut out to our shape here. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, for this one, for her, this is what it looked like originally. And it's the same thing here. So I put in, I put in the pattern for her hair. So I put in this pattern for her hair and then I put a kid in each sunglass. And then you are ready to rock and roll and print or cut or whatever it is you want to do. And that is pretty much all there is to that. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, please subscribe and like our little videos. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back with another crafty tutorial soon.